Tell me, what's the greatest operating system of all time? That's a trick question. It's Windows XP. Oh, baby. Yep, this outrageous combination of blue and greens released by Microsoft in 2001. Did you know between 2001 and 2007, over 500 million people bought Windows XP? But the real question is, can this 23-year-old OS run Minecraft? Now, even though Minecraft was released many years after Windows XP, I'm gonna turn back the clock to give it a shot. Because if I don't, who will? Wait, how many people have already done this? Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so I guess I'm just doing this because I like the pain. <laughs> First up, I need to find and install Windows XP, which I will then try and install Java on. Yeah, no one has troubles with Java. <laughs> and then somehow I need to find a Minecraft launcher that runs on Windows XP. All of this in an attempt to do something that somebody's already done. But I wish I knew that before I filmed this entire video. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Okay, so my original plan was to just run Windows XP as a virtual machine and try and run Minecraft that way. But it kind of feels like cheating just a little bit. So instead, I'm going to attempt to run a Windows XP on my sister's trash Dell laptop. This thing has gone through a lot with me. And every time I go to return this to my sister, I come up with some other dumb thing to try. <laughs> Did that just break? What, what the? I don't know why, but this thing is so freaking sticky. Oh shoot, that's not good. Can you see that? That is water damage. Shoot, dude. We've had a lot of rain over the last few weeks and I must have left it near the window. Look at that, dude. That's not good. <laughs> For some reason, like all these little bits keep coming off of it. Oh, it's so sticky. Will it start? Oh, I mean, okay, it, it works. So that's good, but so I've downloaded Windows XP, which is typically installed with a CD or a DVD. And instead, I'm going to try and create a bootable USB. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, it's been a few hours and we are finally getting Windows XP installed on the Dell. <laughs> Here's a quick recap of what happened and how we finally got here. See, of course, this trash laptop wasn't set up and ready to go for an older operating system. So I had to reformat the whole thing and change the hard drive setup. But from the looks of things, we're cooking. Windows XP is now installing. Let's go far out. It's been a long time since I've seen all this branding. I learned how to edit videos with Movie Maker and Windows XP, which actually, that would be a dope video. Seeing if I can edit one of my videos with Movie Maker. Cool. So fingers crossed, Windows XP works because I want to play some Minecraft. <sighs> Yeehaw, baby. Windows XP is now installed. Open this up. Ooh, still not in a good way. There it is, baby. There it is. <laughs> yes. Okay, first step has been completed. Yo, look at that. The iconic start button. <laughs> Frick. Your computer might be at risk. Yeah, that's because this thing is very unsupported. Let's like fully just be honest. The whole design of Windows XP is pretty ugly. A bold blue for, e <laughs> for every single interface. But why does it still look and feel so relevant? Why does it throw me back to the good old days? We are well on our way to installing Minecraft on this thing, but before we can do that, we need one very critical piece of software, Java. <laughs> Oh yeah. Is Java like what people call coffee? Anyway, we need to install Java on this Windows XP laptop, which could in its own way be a little challenge. See, Java obviously hasn't supported Windows XP in so freaking long. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been searching all over the internet for a version of Java that will install and run on not only Windows XP, but Windows XP 64-bit edition. And this could be interesting. All right, so I've got in this USB Java 8 one eight. And I'm not even gonna lie, I found it on a random university directory website. I don't know why they were hosting that. I don't even know if you're allowed to host Java files. Technically, this should be Java for 64-bit computers. Copy that across, <laughs> that's so iconic. All right, and let's open this up. Java 8 requires a newer version of Windows. No, no one doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I downloaded the wrong one. Oh gosh, finding random executable files on the internet is, it just feels illegal. Like I know I'm not doing anything that wrong, but just, it feels dirty. <laughs> All right, got a different version here. Plug that in. Yo, okay, welcome to Java. Changes are coming which will impact your access to future releases. 
Corporate users will be impacted as soon as January 2019. Something tells me this doesn't apply to me right now. Yo, okay. Let's go. Java is installing. I shouldn't get too excited because literally anything could go wrong from here. Java successfully installed. Let's freaking go. I don't really know how to check if it works other than just try and run Minecraft. So we should do that. Now, apparently there are actual ways to run the official Minecraft launcher on Windows XP. Apparently, allegedly. I'm gonna play it safe and follow some of the videos that I watched to work out how to do this, which I'll link down below, by the way. Uh, and instead, I'm gonna use a launcher called MultiMC, which just lets you download a bunch of different launchers to try them. There is one specific version of Minecraft that I do know works, but on the off chance, I wanna try something more recent, a version of Minecraft more recent. So let's do it. So let's open up MultiMC. Yo, okay. Oh, dude, that's so good. All right, it shows here that we have Java 1.8 installed or eight installed, which is freaking sick. That's giving me a lot of hope, a lot of confidence that this might actually work. Oh, shoot. I just realized because we do not have an internet connection that I cannot download all the things that need to download. Okay, okay, let's think about this. How are we going to do that? I can either try and find the Wi-Fi drivers for this old Dell that will run on Windows XP, which seem pretty limited, or I have another solution. Maybe a solution that makes a little more sense and can just get us to Minecraft as quickly as possible. Okay, so using my MacBook, I can actually route and redirect my Wi-Fi connection to my dongle. Sounds inappropriate, but it's not. To my massive dongle. Stop it, stop it and send the ethernet signal to the Dell. That's the theory, a film theory. <sighs> Matt, Pat, I miss you so much. Set this up on my Mac. Cause every long low stream led me to, okay. So internet sharing is on a new connection. Connect to the internet. That's, that's yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. Choose from a list of providers. I don't need that, bruh. Just open up Internet Explorer, you're killing me. Google.com. I don't know if it's doing anything right now. I really didn't think about this. Good film theory, probably not gonna work. This always happens. I always get to this point. I'm like, why am I doing this? Who am I doing this for? What if I download it on my Mac? Here we go, 1.12. Okay, it has the dot .minecraft folder there. Oh, 1.12. Okay, that's a good sign. You know, I wanna play my part yet, it's been Minecraft. Would you like to open? No. Do I have to have an account? Launch offline. Ah, uh, no. To launch Minecraft, I need to have my Microsoft account logged in. It sucks so bad because I do not have access to the internet on this thing, dude. What a niche problem to have. I can't log into Minecraft on my Windows XP laptop. <laughs> So it looks like we're not getting away with running Minecraft without the internet, which is just the biggest pain in my butt. However, with the help of a Google search, I have found, I think, an ethernet driver, because that's how we are getting an internet connection for this laptop, a driver that is specifically for Windows XP, allegedly. Now, I downloaded it from one of those sketchy looking sites that just say software on them. Here we go, set up, sure. Install, install. I guess I just need to restart it. So uh, what did you do today, Zach? Well, I installed Windows on an old PC and then tried to play Minecraft, which required a bunch of weird tinkering. How about you, mom? Okay, so I think we just run this, install, okay. Will it tell me that it's installed? Okay, I have the disc. Here we go, let's see if this works. An error occurred. What the frick am I doing, dude? I am deep in weird DLL files and driver files, but we're making it through thanks to the help of Claude AI. Thank you, Claude AI. We are in safe mode on Windows XP to try and install these drivers, which should be the correct drivers. Will we... Uh, okay, Vice Manager. We need to try and uninstall this driver. It's doing something. Wait up. Did we just freaking do it, dude? I think that worked. How can I be sure? Wait a second. Plug this in. Should I restart? That is the most progress we have made thus far. Let's go. I will be super duper impressed if this works because Dell didn't make drivers specifically for this laptop for Windows XP, but somehow it looks like we found drivers that are working. Okay, I'm seeing a little egg rotating. 
Okay. Open up Internet Explorer. Woo! I'm getting amped, dude. Rig, yes, baby. Let's go. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ha ah, ha, yes, okay. You know what that means. We can now try and log into my Microsoft account and then, then, and then, then. <laughs> and then we can play Minecraft. Okay. Okay, so let's open up Multi MC again. Okay, and now we can do launch. I need a Mojang account. Okay, no drums. And obviously Windows XP is so freaking old that a lot of the protocols that the new internet uses isn't super friendly with Windows XP, which makes sense. But I wonder if there's a way to get that working and updated. Get back online, activate and install updates on your legacy Windows PC. That's literally exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Apparently this will help Windows XP connect to the newer internet. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I need to do this and then I need to unblock and then apply. Perfect, let's run this. Okay, dope. Windows is starting back up and I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I actually just installed. However, it looks like it's working, which is great. Let's connect to the internet. <laughs> I found another Minecraft launcher that I'm gonna use instead. Apparently it's a little less buggy, a little more supported, which is good. Come on, baby, you can do it. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Ooh, it's downloading updates, which is super cool. That means the internet is working with modern standards. No, I don't wanna update Java. Okay, here we go, PAX. Apparently I can get up to 1.16 without having to muck around too much, which is pretty impressive. 16.5, okay, let's try that. Try and log in with Microsoft. Oh, shoot, okay. I mean, I really gotta think about this. Um, okay, oh, I feel so close. Okay, what do I need here? I need to get a browser that works better than this. And apparently there's one called Super Me. Super, Super Me. Okay, it's been installed. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Will this work? Snap, okay, here we go. Let's log into my Microsoft account. Here we go, so now we can do create instance. It's gonna download everything. Ooh, it's freaking happening, okay. Let's go. Time has come to attempt to open Minecraft for the first time on Windows XP. <laughs> there it is, play. Something's happening. GLFW error. Oh, balls. <laughs> this could be a driver problem now. Ah, dude, I felt like I was so close. That's okay. I, we, we're super close. We are super duper close. Looking for my graphics card. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can track this down. So close, so close. We now have graphics drivers installed. I think I should, I should check that. So let's... Try and run Minecraft. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. I'm okay if it doesn't work. However, it's almost dinner time and your boy's getting hangry. So if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be fine. Play, I'm preparing to jump with joy when this works. Downloading Java again. I am going to lose my bananas. Fine to work. I need to channel my inner Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Green light. Please. Yes. Freak. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know if it's playable yet. I don't even. Oh, there it is. There it flipping is, dude. <gasps> That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, let's, oh my gosh, are you freaking, okay, okay, I need to chill out. Let's play some freaking Minecraft, dude. Single player, new world, survival, yes, 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 create new world. Oh my gosh, I'm exploding with excitement. Woo, I have, no, it freaked me. Bar seven, let's go, come on. Yes. Freaking yes, dude. Let's freaking go. Dude, no way. Oh, she's chunky. She's a little chunky. Let's just mess with some of these settings real quick. What do we got here? Fancy, bro. 
Get me out of there. That's not good. Dude, yes. Yeah, baby! It is a little bit chunky. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit chunky. But I do have the settings up pretty fast still. So sick. Windows XP running Minecraft 1.16.5. Pretty, like, pretty well. This is totally playable. Obviously, that's very dependent on the hardware. And uh, yeah, this thing's hardware is not bad. It just crashed. I was literally just about to say the hardware is not bad and it just crashed. So that's fun. Uh, you know what? I don't even care, dude. That's a freaking win. I don't know why it's so rewarding to get Minecraft to run on the most random things. However, if you want to see me run Minecraft on some more random things, there's a whole friggin' playlist just for you. And you can watch me have the same over the top reaction because I'm genuinely so amped that this worked. Thank you for watching this video. Peace and blessings. I will see you next time. I need to friggin' calm down.